Servus aus Berlin. Hi, my name is Matthias Willich and today I'd like to talk to you about funding opportunities for ecology in Germany. Now, uh, this depends a little bit on which institution you work at, university, Max Planck Institute, the Helmholtz Institute and so on and so forth, and also at what career stage you are at. Um, all of these require that you have a PhD. Um, and so for the specifics of each of these programs, you need to go to the website of the funders to find more about the specific program requirements. This is just um, a general overview. I'm also talking here only about grants, so if you are interested in uh, scholarships or fellowships, you will find this information elsewhere. So first of all, Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft, or DFG, is a major funder in Germany. And the general grants typically have a duration of three years. They are typically unsolicited, so they're not um, in response to a specific program, so you can submit them also generally at any time, so they don't have specific deadlines and target dates. There are some exceptions to this, uh, so you need to follow the guidelines there. But by and large, this is a bottom-up, non-call kind of a, a, an approach to funding research. The first mode of funding by DFG is the individual research grant, or called Sachbeihilfe in German. And um, this just exactly fits the mold of what I just uh, mentioned. So it's a typically three year duration. Um, the funding is a, typically about a PhD student or a postdoc. And it's curiosity driven, hypothesis driven research that you can request funding for in this program. A version of that is Temporary Positions for Principal Investigators, or Eigene Stelle, as it's called in German. With this version, you actually get funding for your own position. And uh, other than that, it's just like a standard grant, but the funding then is just for you. And uh, this is actually quite a very popular mode of funding and for example several people in the lab right now have these kinds of grants. There are also special programs for um, starting principal investigators or um, on route to a professorship and some of the more well-known ones are Emmy Noether which basically funds a research group that consists of you and say a few PhD students typically for a duration of five years. It's a very competitive program and then you also have the Heisenberg program, for example, Heisenberg professorships, which is um, intended to be for people on route to a professorship. And then what's uh, really, I'd say, special about the DFG, among other things, is that they offer quite a variety of coordinated programs. So there's quite a, um, a range of different flavors of these with different scope and also different duration and different requirements for the number of groups involved. The first one is a priority program or Schwerpunktprogramm. Those are basically granted to people that have applied for this particular topic. One that's very important in Germany is, for example, the biodiversity exploratories. And then there are regular calls where you can uh, pitch specific proposals to this call that needs to fit within the requirements of that particular uh, priority program. Often this is a very attractive way to get funding because the funding rates are often higher than in the standard grants. And it's for a specific topic or topic area. So if this happens to be what you're doing, you also would have an advantage. Then there are collaborative research centers, CRCs, or Sonderforschungsbereiche. Um, those basically are for funding a major structural component, let's say, at a university or more rarely at a bunch of universities, in which case the Sonderforschungsbereich is called a Transregio, because it would have um, many partners involved rather than just one university. And um, they are very large sums of uh, funding. They are for up to 12 years in three rounds of four years each. And they can have many groups and uh, many columns of different uh, projects basically contributing to them. Um, they are very attractive funding, of course. Uh, but of course, you need to be part of this 
team or you need to have an idea that has a broad enough scope to come up with a funding for collaborative research there. A somewhat smaller version of this with a different scope are the research units or Forschungsgruppen. There the magic number of teams involved is about five to eight. It's a bit more focused. It also has uh, rounds of funding of uh, four years each. And uh, compared to the Collaborative Research Center, of course, the overall sum of money is, is, is much lower and the topic is more focused, but it's also more flexible and is also a very attractive form of uh, funding, of course. And the last is the Research Training Group or Graduiertenkolleg. And there the focus is more on the education of PhD students. So basically most of the funding that you request for is for PhD students to do their work. In addition to that, uh, you also have clusters as part of the excellence strategy of the federal government. And uh, for those, of course, you need to, be, need to be at a university where such a cluster already exists or is being planned for. They also represent fairly long-term funding. The next major funder is the Federal Ministry of Education and Research, or BMBF. Um, BMBF is uh, quite different from DFG because BMBF tends to fund research more on the applied spectrum of things. And also it is not for unsolicited proposals. Typically there are calls on specific topics, for example, soil as a renewable resource has been a topic and then there are calls issued and then you need to basically apply for these calls that come with a deadline and you need to form a consortium so it is um, quite a different spectrum of grants as i said it's more on the applied side and uh, it involves consortia and is in response to a specific call some of this funding can also be long term like we've been lucky enough to be part of two of these funding programs that run for even nine years. I think internationally that's almost unheard of. But so there is some of this flexibility also within BMBF. Another funder is the Volkswagen Foundation. Now at Volkswagen, there are not specific calls typically for ecology, but you can apply for general calls like um, the experiment exclamation mark call, for example, is for very high risk projects. And of course you could pitch ideas related to ecology. And then there may be some other specific calls that um, also might fit um, your particular interest as an ecologist. In addition, by virtue of being part of um, the EU, of course, you're also able to apply for EU funding. Um, basically, this comes in well, more or less two flavors. One is from the European Research Council or ERC. They have this uh, three tier program of uh, starting grants, consolidator grants, and advanced grants. They're highly prestigious, come with a lot of money, and they're single investigator grants. Our lab, we've been lucky enough to have an advanced grant. And then there is, the, um, for example, Horizon 2020 uh, programs where there is consortia of applicants that span several European countries, so that group projects and that answer to a specific call. So the ERC is sort of bottom-up version of the funding of the EU where uh, it's curiosity driven and US investigator come up with the research idea. Uh, whereas um, most of those other grants are uh, in response to a specific call and a specific need. Those are the major funding sources. There may be other funding so sources. Um, they are available to you because you are at a certain university where they, for example, also have a, a funding program or also some federal states have funding programs that you can apply for as well. So you can see in Germany, this is quite a rich and varied funding landscape. Um, I think it's worth getting informed uh, about all of these opportunities to look, for example, also at what have they funded in the past. And um, well, good luck with obtaining funding. Hi there. If you like this video, don't forget to click like down there and also remember to subscribe to the channel and feel free to leave comments. See ya!